Good afternoon. My name is Rich Peresky. I'm the Director of Sales for Needle Software. We'd like to welcome all of our Needle's users from around the country today to this webinar to showcase our new hosting capabilities. The words in the cloud these days can mean different things to different people depending on what the person is trying to accomplish. What many of our users have been asking is for a way that they can operate without having to support a server and all the technology infrastructure and IT support internally. They just want access to their needles and the key programs from wherever they are, not just from their desktop sitting in the office. Whether you want an iPad, a tablet, a laptop, at home, in court, on the beach, in the hotel room, it doesn't matter as long as you have a solid internet connection with our hosting application, you can get to the Needles program. Since being merged in with TrialWorks in August of 2017, although the products keep their separate client bases and product identities, the opportunity to take advantage of this stellar hosting facility TrialWorks has built in Miami will be a great benefit to the Needles users as well. We're joined today by Tracy Wagner, who's the Director of Sales for TrialWorks for many, many years, who will be explaining the hosting opportunity as well as Mary Ellen Belushi, our company president. Many of you already know both of these ladies. Though so all the attendees are in a listen-only mode, we will be collecting questions from you throughout the webinar today. At the end of Tracy's demonstration, we'll address as many of those questions as possible. You can submit your questions from the question pane of the control panel, which is located on the right side of your screen. If your control panel is collapsed, look for the red box with the white arrow and click it to expand your control panel. With that, I'd like to present Tracy Wagner, Director of Sales, and she will assist us with explaining and onboarding. She has assisted in explaining and onboarding over 200 law firms onto the hosted platform and has a vast knowledge of this product and process. Thank you. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Um, to give you guys some background, TrialWorks as a company had a little bit of a, uh, an all-encompassing approach. We actually had a networking division of our company where part of the possibility in terms of our offerings was that we would come in and present you with an entire package inclusive of a server, computers, uh, scanners, network printers, and certainly our trial work solution. Over the years, we found a shift away from firms, as you suggested, Richie, wanting to have infrastructure in their office. And so a natural progression was to offer that same level of networking expertise and certainly then offer the opportunity to host a server for them. So the one-stop shop is very appealing to our client base in a sense that you have now an opportunity to have the benefits that you always enjoyed of a local environment, but that environment is now in a data facility with levels of redundancy. And for you, your experience is that you have one phone number to contact whether you need assistance with what would typically be networking, printer issues, or an issue with your Microsoft Office suite. And certainly now, the same opportunity to reach that same phone number and have your standard and, and um, your needle support. So with that being said, what I wanted to do today is walk you through how your experience would be and showcase the ease of use of hopping into your session from wherever in the world that you have an internet connection. I'm sharing my desktop with you today. And as you can see, I'm actually making the connection from a Mac, which is an awesome benefit to our hosted environment in a sense that you can very much have a mixed experience. If you have a Mac notebook that you always wanted the opportunity to have a better use of, Certainly that um, is now cap is now a, a possibility for you in terms of making your connection to the hosted server environment. Any device, whether it's Mac or PC, is compliant with the opportunity to make this connection. And so when you opt to go hosting, we would configure an icon on each of your devices that would allow you connection to your session. You can see I actually have Microsoft Remote Desktop installed on my Mac. This is the panel I see. I have multiple connections here. For today's presentation, I have a Needles uh, desktop pre-configured. So your ease would be that you would come in in the morning, turn on your computer, double click on your pre-configured connection that has your unique credentials, and you would then have your own unique desktop experience. So notice in my example, 
I now have a desktop where I see Microsoft Office, Word, Outlook, certainly Needles, any other application necessary for you to function throughout the day. Depending on the need of your individual users, certainly we would host your accounting package for your accountant and many and any other maybe litigation or, or um, applications that are necessary throughout the day. And you'd start your day with double clicking on this connection icon and then functioning through your session all day long. So presumably you're going to start your Needles program. And then the rest of your Microsoft Office suite launches you into normal Needles today as you're accustomed to. I would probably open Microsoft Outlook so that I can check mail and maybe other, maybe your Outlook calendar. And that's how you're going to function all day long. So the ease of use will, will make it so that each of your users has this unique desktop, just as they're accustomed to in a local environment, only you have the benefit of our hosted environment, which provides certainly a redundancy and backup and IT support. That's sort of where I wanted to go with the presentation, uh, Mary Ellen Meredith. Um, is there anything else you wanted me to, to touch upon? Um, thanks, Tracy. Actually, we do have um, a couple of questions that have already come in, so maybe we can have you um, touch on some of those questions. Um, Sounds great. One of them that came in was, how much data can I bring over? So the general hosted package includes 100 gigs of data per user, which means that if you have a five-user law firm, your hosted package includes 500 gigs of data. That does not include the documents associated to your needle solution, but otherwise your normal Windows folder structure, that's what we're talking about. Okay, great. Um, I have another question that came in. Can I use dictation software? Dictation software is not permitted within the hosted environment. It requires too much bandwidth. It would be our recommendation that you continue to run your dictation software locally. Um, and otherwise, um, upload those documents to your session when you're complete with them. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and then I have a, several questions that actually came in regarding the data center. Could you talk a little sure. bit about the data center and um, if it's HIPAA compliant and just g give us some color on that? Absolutely. We work with a facility called Telex. They have 128 facilities around the world. The facility that we work with is headquartered in Miami, very close to our, our physical offices, so that if there was ever a need to manage the physical hardware that we own, uh, we can do so quite easily. We have technicians who um, are really at the facility almost daily. The facility has um, a plethora of HIPAA compliance, in, including multiple certifications that generally your malpractice carriers enjoy. So. Uh, I know that after the call today, we'll send out a, a link to the spec sheet of the facility. What you should know is that it, it has multiple levels of redundancy in terms of both internet and power. Uh, it's what's considered a category five facility. And I will tell you, after this hurricane season, our environment really stood the test. I you know, was a little bit nervous. Personally, I was out of the Florida area and I logged into that facility every two hours and during Hurricane Irma, which was our latest storm, the facility never went down. So it really spoke wonders to me and, and gave me a level of confidence in the environment. I know our clients enjoyed that same opportunity to never skip a beat. Um, so in terms of the compliance, um, this, there's multiple levels of both redundant and redundancy in terms of both internet and power, which I mentioned, but also there's top security. Generally, when you're considering these types of solutions, you want to have an understanding of the compliance. And so that's why I encourage you review the spec sheet. You may be asked by your malpractice carriers about some of those certifications, and it's good to be knowledgeable. Okay, great, thank you. Um, another question that came in, can I still use a dual monitor if I'm on Needles Hosted? Absolutely, so the Microsoft desktop that you're going to use to make your connection in either a, on, from either, excuse me, a PC or a Mac, allows you to configure the connection how you need. It, it is certainly compliant with multiple monitors. It is certainly compliant with uh, being able to see local drives, which means that if you plug a jump drive or a disk into your local machine, you'd be able to pull the documents off of that, um, that jump drive and directly into your session. 
it means that you, it would pick up on the printers associated to your network. So let's say you were working from home and you were logged into your session and you wanted to print something that was part of your needles out to your, to your, compu your uh, printer at home, you could easily do so. So there is a uh, print audit, there's printer software, redirection software that is installed on these boxes to be able to enable that kind of uh, complex printing. So really in terms of your experience, you shouldn't skip a beat with what you're accustomed to locally. So if you have multiple monitors or multiple drives, or there are multiple printers in your office, all of that experience for you really should be identical from your hosted environment. Okay, perfect. And I've gotten this question a couple of different ways. Um, what about my other programs besides needles? Um, someone did ask specifically about time slips and how easy it is to go back and forth between programs once you're in the environment. Sure. So in general, we recommend that any of the programs that you would require should be compliant with our environment. Um, if you're unsure, it would be best to submit those questions to us and allow us to uh, contact our technicians and just ensure that they're compliant with the server that we're going to provide to you. Generally, the golden rule is if the, if the application can be installed in a, in a server 2012 or higher environment, you should be okay. But, you know, allow this to be an opportunity to work together. And so just let us know. I can tell you personally, we have time slips installed on multiple clients of ours. In terms of your ease of use, Again, just consider your experience to be very similar to that of your local environment. So in my example, I have a very broad, uh, a very basic desktop here. But imagine that you would have another icon for time slips or another icon, just like you see here for Adobe. Most of, the, most of our current environment does provide us their Adobe licensing, their accounting licensing at the very least. Okay, great. Um, again, a question that's come in a couple of different ways. Um, can I use a Mac on Needles Hosted? Can I log in using an iPad? Yes and yes. So you can see, you know, I'm working off of a Mac today. I actually have a Mac Air. And what I do is I travel very heavily. And so I'm, I really function identical to our hosted clients. I find the ease of use to be amazing for my Mac in a sense that I have um, a, de uh, a large monitor that I use as a second monitor. And so basically I have my hosted environment on my big monitor and I use my Mac to run, you know, to surf and to do some other ancillary applications that I require throughout the day. From your Mac, you will need to go to the Mac, to the Apple, um, the App Store and download Microsoft Remote Desktop once. It's a free download. And then when you sign up for hosting, our technicians will assist in configuring the icon, the connection icon for you. That will be the same on any of your uh, iOS applications. So certainly your iPad, your iPhone, there is it that same remote desktop app. Now what's nice about this for you guys is, is it will be that, you know, once you make that connection, wherever you make the connection from, you're going to see the exact same experience. So let's say that you are working in the morning and you run out and you close the lid of your Mac Air and then you log back in after your meeting. If you had a email open or an Excel spreadsheet open or you were in a particular client file in Needles, as soon as you log back in after that meeting, you're going to be in the exact same place you were before you left that meeting. You're still in that same case, that's still in that same client file in Needles, the spreadsheet's still open, et cetera. So for you, your ease of use across devices will be awesome. Okay, great. Thank you for that comprehensive answer. Um, again, a couple of um, questions have come in sort of asking the same thing. Um, what are some good specs for my firm's internet? I'm not sure about my bandwidth. What are the bandwidth requirements, et cetera, et cetera? Okay, so certainly internet is a big discriminator of, of how well your firm will do in terms of their experience with hosting. It is our recommendation that uh, as a golden rule, you are uh, in at least two up per user, and the more the merrier down. Um, two, two up, two down is a good place to start. But so let's say you're a five user firm and you are looking to go towards the hosted route, I would encourage you to have, you know, as close as you possibly can to 10 up and 10 down. That's two up and two down per user. So that's sort of a golden rule and what we recommend. Certainly the more the merrier, the faster the internet, the more the, the better your experience will be. If you are a law firm that rents space from another 
company and you are sharing internet, be cognizant about the number of total people that are utilizing that internet when you run those speed tests. So let's say you have that five user firm, but you rent space, and the people you rent space from are another 20. You have to consider that even though they're not logging into that hosted environment like you are, they're still using that same internet. So if someone from the other company that you're renting space from likes to you know, stream YouTube videos that, during their lunch hour, that's going to affect your bandwidth and your experience. Okay, perfect. Um, will I have access to all my case docs from anywhere? Yes, as long as you have that remote desktop icon configured on the devices that you plan to make the connection from, you will have that opportunity to log in and certainly see your documents just as you would from your desktop. So if you are in need of accessing your documents from your devices, we would encourage that once you go this route, you ensure that you work with our tech support team to uh, configure the icons on the devices that you plan to make the connection from. Okay, wonderful. Um, how does this work with my local printers? So there is software installed on the print on the servers that will pick up uh, on the network that you're connecting from. So if you have either networked printers or wireless printers that are all on the same, um, you know, Wi-Fi that you're going to connect from, those are all those are all going to be configured at the time that we that we migrate you to our hosted environment. Essentially what happens, should you opt to move in this direction, we send you guys a survey. It's going to ask questions such as, what programs are you interested in installing on your hosted server environment? Can you give us an inventory of your printers and scanners? We would make sure that when you go live with hosting, not only are your icons configured on the devices that you want to make the connection from, but also that we're aware of the printers that you're going to use from your hosted environment so that they're supported and configured at the time that you go live. Okay, thank you. A um, couple different questions came in regarding email. So could you talk about email? Some of the questions that we got were, were can we keep using Outlook? Absolutely. In fact, Outlook is included as part of our hosted package. The hosted packages, in, in, in addition to the uh, storage that we talked about early on, the hosted package does include a full copy of Microsoft Office per user. You do receive as part of your package Microsoft Office 2016, which at this point is the latest offering from Microsoft and that is inclusive of Microsoft Outlook. If you require uh, hosted exchange or hosted email, that can be included in your package. If you currently have someone hosting your email, your, your domain, your professional email for you, that can be configured in the Outlook we provide. So that when you open your Outlook every morning, your inbox should look identical to what you're currently experiencing and your Outlook should be identical. It's, it's absolutely going to be configured to your current environment. Okay, great. Um, can I purchase additional storage? You can. Uh, we need to get pricing on that, on, on what the additional storage uh, pricing is. Okay. Um, we've already talked about bandwidth. Could you talk a little bit about the onboarding process? Some people are asking about what's involved in signing up. Sure. So I mentioned the survey a moment ago. And so the survey is, is your first and foremost. It is something that we require before we can configure the hosted environment. As I suggested, generally it asks for not only an inventory of the applications that you're currently relying upon, we also would require the product codes for those. So you will own those. We will just install your licensing in the hosted environment. Your printers, again, an inventory of your printers that we can make sure that those are compliant and configured as well as in a, a list of your users. We require a list of your users, um, a, a desired password, and certainly their email address so we can make sure that Outlook is configured to talk to their current email. So that survey is completed by whoever is going to sort of uh, take the charge in terms of your migration to hosting. Uh, a technician from our office will work directly with you to um, coordinate a time to hop on your current environment. So we need to hop on your current server, take a look at the amount of data, take a look at how the data is, uh, fits in your current environment so that we can work backwards in building the server for you. Uh, with that being said, you guys would, you know, there's, there's no sort of set time. Generally the turnaround, you know, depending on the number of users and the amount of data can either be done after hours or possibly over a weekend where we essentially schedule a cutoff on a Friday. We would do a complete backup of your current environment. Generally that backup requires a hard drive. So you'd go out buy a hard drive once we determine the, the, the size of the drive. 
we would then coordinate a backup, have you overnight that drive to us so that we can do the migration over a weekend. So it's all very scheduled. Um, I would sort of encourage that you guys have someone who spearheads the project and communicates directly with our team. So once the survey is completed, a, a member from our team would reach out and work directly with you on all the scheduling. Um, at that point, the server would be pre-configured before the cutoff so that it's just a matter of copying the data from one server to now the new hosted server environment. Okay, great. You did mention uh, backup during that um, answer there, and we have gotten a couple mm -hmm. questions in about um, how data is backed up, how often it's backed up, and where it is backed up to in the hosted environment. Okay, we have several uh, layers of backup, several redundancies. We back up to another piece of physical hardware, and then we back up to uh, a secondary backup of the Amazon cloud for documents. Um, in terms of how long we keep backups, we keep backups for a month. So part of what you're part of what you're buying into with the concept of hosting is us being your your IT guy. So if there is an issue, if the, if you notice that there's a, a document that's been deleted or you need access to you know a case that maybe someone deleted by accident, those kinds of things would fall on your uh, hosted experience to be able to contact us and have us uh, look to a backup for you. Okay, thank you. And we've got a couple questions in um, about firm size. So some people asking if the hosted package is a good fit regardless of firm size, if this is um, designed only for small firms or if any firm can use it. Um, you know, I think that any firm can use it. That's, that's, you know, that's the answer I would give in a sense that we do. Our current environment has a wide range from literally solos to I think our largest hosted account is 152 users across seven office locations. You know, historically it used to be, it was always a good option for smaller firms. And, and honestly, our average size hosted client has evolved over the years because the opportunity to have multiple office locations that, that don't have to necessarily have servers in each office, it's really lent itself nicely to that type of firm. So I would say it doesn't necessarily matter the size, but really what your needs are. If you have a need, if, if, you're in a, in a, if you're in a place right now where maybe your infrastructure is old and you're on the brink of buying new hardware, this is a great time to consider hosting because it allows you to not have to outlay a bunch of money in new hardware. And it provides you an opportunity to essentially lease, you know, state-of-the-art hardware that's going to be constantly updated for you without any additional cost to you. I would equate it to leasing a car versus buying a car. When you lease a car, generally your warranty and all of your maintenance is included, and it's you know you're you're leasing it, you're paying monthly, and you know exactly what you're paying for. So it's it's I don't think necessarily think it's 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 contingent upon the size of your firm, but rather what your needs are. If you're looking for that kind of ease of use and and certainly one stop shop, I think it's a it's a good fit. Okay, great analogy. Thank you. Um, another question, can you log in from two different locations in the same day? For example, if an attorney logs in from the office in the morning and then needs to use a MacBook later? Absolutely, absolutely. So let's say that you have a desktop in your office and you are running late and you run out of the office and you forget to log off. And then in the afternoon you log in from your Mac. If your session's still on in the office, it's gonna kick you off of your session. You're going to see the exact same experience when you log in from your Mac. So you can log in from as many devices throughout the day as you wish, but the moral of the story is, if you've left the first session open, it's gonna knock you off that original session when you log in from the second device. Okay, gotcha. Okay, we have Which is about, what you want. I mean, you don't you don't want to be logged into you know in two places. You want it to you want it to knock you off your first session. <laughs> right, absolutely. Um, we're, we have about five minutes left. I have a lot of questions still coming in. Um, I think that we may have had some of our listeners who missed the part where you talked about the data center, um, because I'm getting uh -huh. a couple more questions about the HIPAA compliancy, how long TrialWorks has had this data center. So if you could just for um, another moment touch on the data center, and then I have a few um, last questions before we log off. Sure, we work with a facility that's very close to our physical offices in Miami. We, we need the proximity because we do have technicians who are spinning up new accounts and, and they need to be able to take physical um, hard drives over to the facility itself. 
Plus, we, we need accessibility to the physical pieces of hardware in case there needs to be any maintenance to those. The facility that we work with is called Telex. Uh, I understand that we will send out a link to the facility as well as a link to the spec sheet so that you guys have an understanding of the redundancies in terms of both internet and power, as well as the compliance and the additional certifications that are generally required by your malpractice carriers. All of that is documented on the spec sheet of the facility. In terms of the facility, to give you guys some background, it is a facility that has 128 properties around the world. Um, big names like Florida Power and Light and AT&T rack space right next to our physical servers. So it is, um, it's been really great for our hosted environment. TrawWorks has offered hosting for about a decade. We've worked with this facility for probably five or six years. And I can tell you personally that I was not in the, Maya, in the Florida area during this last wave of storms, and I was responsible for logging in and ensuring uptime, and the facility never skipped a beat during our entire hurricane season. So it was really, it really gave you peace of mind to, to know that even if your office wasn't physically okay or, you know, up, at least your data was. And so if you had power at home or from a Starbucks even, you knew you could work if you needed to. Fantastic. Okay, we actually got a question in Tracy that I'm gonna field. Um, somebody is asking if you can still use your Outlook post and send in Needles if you're on the hosted environment. The answer to that question is yes. All the functionality that you have in Needles continues to be the same functionality whether you're hosting it in the hosted environment or you're on your own server. Okay, right. with our last few mm -hmm. minutes that we have left, we're getting a lot of questions about um, cost and how you get started. Okay, uh, cost, there is a setup fee of $199 per person. That includes the configuration of your hosted environment plus the migration from your current environment over to the cloud. And uh, the monthly fee thereafter, once you go live, is $100 per user per month. There are some variations to that $100, so please talk to us regarding what your needs are. Uh, for example, if you have a hosted exchange server right now, maybe you have a Microsoft 365 account or you're utilizing Google Apps or some other hosted vendor to host your mail for you, your email for you, that can be pulled out of our package. The $100 per user per month is the complete package, which includes a full copy of Microsoft Office per user, email hosting, 100 gigs of storage per user, as well as antivirus, anti-spam, and full IT support within your session. I'm sorry, Tracy, is there any long-term contract with this? The contract is a one-year contract. There are terms of service required, and, and certainly we should probably send that out as part of our follow-up email. Um, and just to give people an understanding of the contract between the two companies. Perfect. And um, I'm getting a few questions about the tech support. Is there tech support for the hosted package? There is. It is inclusive of, uh, of IT support within your session. So any application that you're utilizing within your session, which of course includes Microsoft Office, your entire Office suite, certainly your Needles program, should we host your time slips for you, uh, a document folder structure that you're accustomed to accessing. Those applications and anything you're doing within your session, so certainly you would be printing documents out, certainly you'd be maybe um, using your time slip. Any, anything you're doing within your session is part of, and the support associated to that is part of your hosted monthly fees. So you will have a phone number to reach, you will also have access to our ticket system and uh, email support, that is, uh, our phones are answered normal Eastern Standard Time, uh, 8.30 to, to 5.30, and then certainly it is um, the ticket system for high priority, uh, can't access the server, or having some kind of complete downtime, uh, that is monitored 24 hours. 
Great. Okay, I think we're reaching the end of time for our webinar. Tracy, I want to thank you for the comprehensive overview today. Um, I want to thank everybody on the line for joining. We're going to be following up with all the attendees that we have online today with an email with more information. In addition to that, we would encourage you to visit our website. There is a hosting section at www.needles.com. You can check that out. There are some frequently asked questions there, although now that we've had this webinar, I think we have some more to add to that section. Thanks so much for your time today. Have a good one.